What's up guys, welcome back to Triple back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be working on my brother's car once again. We finally got some new tail lights in. Actually, I, I, I told you guys we got it a couple days ago. These are the Euro style, I believe, Euro style tail lights from Keys Motorsports. These are direct plug and play, and they already come with bulbs and all that stuff. So some of the tail lights you guys buy on eBay, they don't come with the bulbs. They actually don't even come with the harness. So you need to go get the harness, you need to get bulbs, or you even have to get them coated. These are like direct plug and play guys. So they should, as soon as you plug it in, it should be no errors. They should already have the resistors and everything in it. So that's gonna be super nice. I think it's gonna complement the yellow wrap super nicely um, So you guys saw that we pretty much got the rest of the car done We're just gonna be replacing the trunk replacing the tail lights wrapping the trunk wrapping the bumper So uh, I think it's gonna be really cool, but are you, are you, are you excited to get your whole car back together? Dude? I'm, I'm excited because I'm not seeing the whole picture just yet just yet But when we get these little add-ons going in, it's gonna it's gonna start And we got some carbon fiber guys We also have some plans for the wheels as well. We even got some spacers in so I'm um, hopefully in the next video We're gonna be wrapping up like all the little touches but in this video I mean at least getting the whole car Car to look all together and might as well install the new tail lights because they're putting in the new trunk and they're pretty much working on the rear end today so we're doing everything in the rear today as for the door handles, a lot of you guys said that you should probably just wrap it yellow. Actually, not a lot of you guys. Some of you guys hit me up on Instagram saying you should wrap it in yellow. I want to see how the whole car looks in the end. And if we don't dig the black door handles, we'll do them in yellow. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get the car to the garage and start working on it. Alright guys, so we got the tail lights off, the trunk off, uh, the wiring is also right over here, so you're gonna have to write the new wiring into the new trunk, but yeah guys, <laughs> pretty much it's ready for the rear bumper to be wrapped. I'm super excited for this part, because as soon as we do this, we're gonna be able to install things left and right. For example, once we actually get the wrap tucked in down there, we're gonna put some 3M and put this up all the way. We have it pulled down right now, so we can actually tuck in the wrap, and we're gonna leave this actually the same exact color, because I think it's gonna look a lot cleaner. We'll be able to put in the new tail lights right there, and then we're gonna start working on the trunk. So this is gonna be literally coming in piece by piece, together i think it's gonna be so satisfying so without further ado let's go ahead and get the wrap on there my brother already uh pretty much you already cleaned it all up right should be good to go so we're good to go without further ado let's go ahead and get into it guys Guys, after about literally, I would say about four hours, bro. Guys, bumpers absolutely suck. Like, this thing looks really good. We did such a great job. Actually, the light's reflecting off of it too much. Um, it looks really, really, really good. Oh, we actually gotta throw that up back on. We actually gotta put the grill back on. We actually put it back on the car. That's actually the reason why we took it off in the first place. So we can actually throw on the grill properly, and then we can also throw on this piece, and it's gonna look really good, bro. But um, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and just reassemble this bumper, slap it onto the car, put in those tail lights, and then work on that trunk. But yeah, guys, as my brother's actually gonna be putting on those final screws to the weather guard and the top of the bumper, I'm actually gonna be installing the new tail lights. So yeah, these are gonna look absolutely insane. These should be honestly or like like just plug and play. Super easy to do. We are gonna be using our original bolts, but that shouldn't be an issue. And then um, this is the only connector we're using back here. You see, everything else is already pre-done for you, which I absolutely love. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and install these bad boys, at least these outer ones, because I'm just too excited. We could do it in the end, but I'm just too excited. Let's go ahead and throw it on. At 
this point, guys, we got the two tail lights in there. We got the bumper on there. Let's go ahead and install the new trunk. Uh, we do have to install the new keyhole as well. We have to delete this, sand that down. Not sand it down, but use that little eraser, magic eraser to take off this, take off the plate. Uh, but yeah, before we do any of that, let's just go ahead and install the trunk because I feel like it'd be so much easier once this thing's actually on the car. And just like that, we have the trunk installed. I want you guys to let us know down below, should we actually wrap this section yellow or actually leave it black and put in the taillights? I think it's gonna look really good. It'd be like a black roof to the black window. Maybe even a, we're gonna add the carbon fiber spoiler as well, hopefully in the near future. And then uh, that will leave it black. And then it's not like just all yellow. I don't know, but what, what do you think? What do you think I, you like better? I like this a lot more because you guys check this out. The outlines of these headlights and you, see, you guys see these, these are all black, right? So it's like a nice section of black, just a flat black line, you know, going throughout the car. And it just adds to the black axis. That's why I think, yeah. let me know what you guys think. That's why I want to get your opinion on it. Cause I don't know if it's, you know, something we're just weird out with, but that's why. I mean, normally I would wrap the whole car, but since it's a very bright color and the car is originally black, we're like, you know what? I think it's gonna look pretty sick. So, I think uh, it looks nice. Let us know down below, but without further ado, uh, we're about to install these tail lights right here. These are the inner tail lights. We do have a little small module here, a little resistor that we're gonna have to mount as well. I'll show you guys how we set all that up once it's inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install those two guys. I think we're pretty much done. Bro, I am so excited. This whole thing is now fully put together. Oh, it was a mission. All right, all right, let's get to it. So with the tail lights installed, guys, basically the resistor, we just mounted it up here. It has some 3M, just pushed it up there. That's all we really did. And then the connector just connected. That's all we have to do, no coating necessary. And because of the resistor, we don't actually have any faults either. So let's go ahead and assemble the rest of the trunk. We got everything that's connected on the trunk. Uh, this should be really satisfying, bro. We're just gonna go ahead and put that last piece. We'll go ahead and clean up the, the car and do all that good stuff, hopefully, when we start adding all the carbon fiber and everything. But in the meantime, just wanna put that little bad boy on and take it outside. I'll show it to you guys tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, let's put that bad boy on and close the trunk. I just wanna show you guys my clean title car. I bought this from the dealership. <laughs> Irvine BMW Limited. Oh, no, 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 you can't say that, you can't say that. <laughs> no, no, we just threw those plates on. But guys, look at that. Bro, you got the keys? Uh, Herb, go start off the car, bro. Guys, this looks, bro, honestly, the car in person, guys, looks, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, these are so much brighter than the original bulbs, guys. They aren't the same style, but these are like LEDs or something. These look so good. And guys, this is the next morning. I had actually cut out some footage from last night because I honestly, we were just too tired to even function. And honestly, right now I'm a little little tired. We're staying up a little bit editing and just doing some other things, just watching, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Squid Games, Squad Games? Oh, you binge watch Squid Games. Squid Games, yeah. so you guys, <laughs> that show is insane. But anywho, so now we're back with the car. And uh, yeah, so these tail lights, I thought originally you didn't actually have to replace, or I thought it's just a direct replacement. Um, for the LED portions, it doesn't have uh, bulbs that you need to replace because it's LEDs, but there are the original bulbs for like the reverse lights and a couple of the bulbs that we need to actually move from our old tail lights to our new tail lights. So I didn't know that, so let's go ahead and replace that. But in the meantime, guys, what do you guys think during the day? I really think the, the yellow, black, yellow looks really good, especially when we get that spoiler on there as well. I think it looks absolutely insane. I'm super happy, bro. The bumper doesn't look like it's peeling 
anywhere too overnight. It looks good, man. Yeah, because typically when you do all these like major creases, you see like peel up here the next morning, peel over here the next morning. It's so far so good. Yeah, that all looks awesome. So I'm super happy. This thing actually came together really, really, really nicely. But yeah, at this point, let's just go ahead and take apart the front. I'll show you guys what bulbs we actually have to uh, install, not replace, install, because these lights um, come with LEDs, but you do need to install some of the original bulbs. So even with the lights installed, you can go ahead and just twist off these little things that actually hold the bulbs. So as you guys can see, this is like a tiny one. And uh, if you look on our original, uh, what's it called, tail lights, they actually come with this little module on there. This is kind of how it sits. So. The little one holds the little bulb, so you go ahead and just put it in there. Uh, should, could, should only fit on one way, but uh, yeah, just like that. Push it in. Twist it. Twist it, just like that. Yeah, that's in there now. That's not going anywhere. And then we can just go ahead and reinstall it. All right, and then the next one is this one right here. Uh, yeah, so this one's an LED one right here in the middle. So if you guys look at how our original one is, we have the tiny one that we're transferring. This one's an LED one in the, the tail light. And then this one, go ahead and spin that out. We're actually gonna be reusing this bulb right here. Um, so not all bulbs are we using. Same with these ones as well. The middle one, we're gonna be keeping it because it's LED. I believe the top ones are LEDs as well, but this bottom one, I believe you have to also transfer it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do also with the bottoms. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and just put that in there, turn it, twist it. Now that's in there, we should have all of our bulbs working now. So uh, yeah, me and my brother were putting the whole car together. We were like, why is our reverse lights not working? Then I just did a little bit of research and I was like, should have read the instructions, honestly. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, I mean, these guys, guys, these tail lights with the LEDs, like the styling of it, like the lines and everything kind of look like the original ones, but it's so much brighter and it does have kind of like the European style to it. And then obviously you get to use the original bulbs as well. So um, if these bulbs, the other bulbs do go bad, you could just replace them, which I honestly prefer more than having it all LED because if those other bulbs go out and they're all LED, you're gonna have to replace the entire light anyway. So uh, that really works out. One side down, let's go ahead and knock out the other side. So actually, I think it's going to be easier if I just show you guys when we actually take out the, the tail light. So I'm going to take out this side real quick just to show you guys. Um, yeah, so again, the top one, uh, this is LED right here. This is also LED. So these are being replaced, but the two bottom ones, we went ahead and connected the bulbs. And then again, just put it in there and you just twist it. So it should be easy enough. Now that we have both of them back in there, <laughs> this thing got in the way a little bit. So just move this out of the way and get it in there, tighten it back up. And that is it, guys. Honestly, uh, honestly, a very, very, very easy install. And these actually look so much better. Um, what's nice about it is though, again, it doesn't throw any errors on the dash. When I turned on the car last night, I didn't notice some errors and that's why I knew something was wrong with it. But I also noticed the bulbs weren't working and that's because I didn't have bulbs inside of them. So just to give you guys a tip, you will need to use your original bulbs. So if you have bad tail lights, you still need to put bulbs in them before you get to these new tail lights. But I mean, the new tail lights just look so much better. So let's go ahead and just reassemble everything and uh, should be pretty much good to go. Nah, 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 no. yeah. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. When I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins.